So powerlifting destroyed me. Well, it destroyed my right hip. Well, powerlifting didn't destroy my right hip. I destroyed my right hip. Basically, you know when your body tells you no and says, hey, you should probably back off a little bit because you got this thing going on where your hip's shifting. You have this, uh, um, you know, a little bit of pain in the groin and everything. You should probably stop or slow down or modify something, right? My dumb ass just kept going and actually doubled down on it. That's what meatheads do. We are resurrecting this dead channel for uh, very mediocre lifting in the future. So I need a, re I do need a hip replacement. So that's just coming. That's going to be something that I I've got to do. It's going to happen soon. They say you have to get a couple surgeries during your lifetime. So I'm trying to push it off a little bit further. Uh, the cool part is, is I've found some mobility and rehabilitation exercises that have actually been giving me like little pain. Like a lot of my pain's gone away. A lot of things are feeling a lot better and I'm able to actually squat to, you know, just a few inches above parallel, which is good enough for most federations anyway. I'm not getting back into powerlifting, um, although I'm going to have a few strength goals. So I'm going to try to bench more than I ever have. I was a terrible bencher. So I benched 347 in competition at like 260, I think body weight at 260. It's not good. So anything over that is a W. Now, along with shitty mediocre benching, I was also very mediocre at the overhead press. So I want a strict press 225 over my head. That will be another goal. Now, there's not much I can do about the squat or the deadlift. Uh, they give me pain. Um, goblet squats, believe it or not, are okay. So we're going to goblet squat. Uh, deadlift, I, I, you know, I tried every now and again, and if I can ever get myself out of pain, maybe I'll deadlift a little bit. But to me, it's not worth it to do a lift that's just going to cause more pain. Um, now, what sucks is when you do when you're doing something like powerlifting for a long time and you're getting pretty decent at it and then you have to really shut it down altogether. You get that bad news and it's like, hey, you need surgery, you need a full hip replacement. That's just what it is. Uh, I've had many attempts at rehab that have failed. Um, you know, I haven't really gone the pain management route yet just because I, I'm just not at that point. So what I'm doing right now is I got a bunch of shorts to, that are up on here that is just me doing calisthenics, basically like the walrus training. It's what Jim Wendler describes as the Navy SEALs fat, ugly cousin. Um, I'm not even even on that level, really. So, you know, I'm doing 10 push-ups, 10 squats, three pull-ups, and just kind of throwing walking at the end for five circuits. I'm going to do this for 30 days straight. First things first, I need discipline. There's no sense in building some great programming and really taking that seriously if I can't even build my own discipline. So I'm just undisciplined right now. So we're doing 30 days straight of this conditioning. It's not hard conditioning, not at all. Like, so I can do it for 30 days and I'm not gonna overwork myself. Um, you know, there's no real goal other than to do the 30 days of discipline at this point. Once those 30 days are up, I'm going to do 5-3-1. I'm doing 5-3-1 for the upper body for bench and overhead press. And I just started that right now. Um, but, you know, my, my assistance work is conditioning. So at, at some point after these 30 days, I'm going to actually go back and do some real assistance for it and, you know, leave the conditioning to the other days. But um, my training max, I'm going to use is 255. Somehow I've maintained some semblance of strength after really being inconsistent. So that's the cool part about strength is you, it, it doesn't go that far away. I, I found that if I just give it two, three months consistently, I can get back up to an okay number. Um, so that's where we're at. And we're just going to allow, you know, a couple years to actually get back to it and um, hopefully overachieve that goal. Um, another goal is, is to not be as fat. Uh, I, I'm at this point where I don't really have a lot of muscle like I used to. Um, I'm also still pretty fat like I used to be. So it just doesn't look like when you're big and fat, it's kind of okay because everybody's like, ah, he's just big old fat guy, right? Uh, when you're kind of like not as muscular and fat, it just kind of looks sloppy. So, um, 
I, I am going to eat better. I am going to uh, do a lot of walking as my conditioning. I don't think it's going to hurt my goal at all. So if you want to join me on this journey, like and subscribe. Um, I, I don't have anything to sell you. I'm not going to push any programs on you guys. Uh, really, I, I, I just love the community and want to stay in the community and, um, you know, just connect with people who are maybe going through the same stuff and, and get inspired to do uh, awesome things again and to really push strength because I'm closing in on 40 and I want to uh, still hit some of those PRs while I got time.